Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Today in this video we are going to see how to make this beautiful doily pattern. So the measurement for this doily is, you can see, 13 inches which is some 33 centimeter. And for making this doily I have used this 4 ply acrylic yarn or fingering weight yarn in two colors. So this is the label. So here you can see it is 100% acrylic 4 ply yarn. Then crochet hook for this project I have used 3 mm. So this is a very simple project. So let's get started. So first we are going to make a magic circle and in this magic circle we are going to chain 3 1 2 3 so this chain 3 counts as a double crochet and then we are going to chain 1 and work a double crochet in the magic circle so this counts as double crochet chain 1 and double crochet so again chain 1 and double crochet in the magic circle so this is we are going to repeat chain 1 double crochet in the magic circle chain 1 double crochet in the magic circle so here we have 5 double crochets so like this we are going to work 15 double crochets with chain 1 space so here I have finished 15 double crochets so I'm going to make a slip stitch on top of the chain 3 and finish this first round so that's our first round so for the next round I'm going to slip stitch in the chain 1 space we are going to start here chain 3 which counts as a double crochet then work another double crochet into the same chain 1 space so we have two double crochets then chain 1 and work two double crochets into the next chain 1 space so 1 and 2 then again chain 1 work two double crochets into the next chain one space one and two then chain one two double crochets into the next space one and two chain one two double crochets into the next space one and 2 so like this we are going to repeat the same pattern and finish this round so here and near the end I have made chain 1 I'm going to make a slip stitch on top of the first chain 3 and finish this round so slip stitch and finish the round then we will start with the next round for that slip stitch into the next stitch and slip stitch into the chain 1 space so here we will start the next round chain 3 which counts as a double crochet then work 2 double crochets into the same space 1 and 2 so we have 3 double crochets here including the first chain 3 then we will chain 1 and work 3 double crochets into the next chain 1 space here 1 2 and 3 then chain 1 3 double crochets into the next chain 1 space 1 2 and 3 then chain 1 again 3 double crochets in the next chain 1 space 1 2 3 chain 1 then again 3 double crochets in the next chain 1 space 1 2 
3. So like this we are going to repeat around and finish it in here. So here you can see I have finished this round. So for the next round I am going to make slip stitch into the next 2 stitches and into the chain 1 space. So 1, 2 and slip stitch into the space. So here we will start. So chain 3 which counts as a double crochet. Then double crochet into the same space. Then chain 1 and work 2 double crochets into the same space. 1 and 2. Like this we will repeat. So chain 1 into the next space work 2 double crochets. 1, 2, chain 1 and 2 double crochets into the same space. Then again chain 1, 2 double crochets into the next space. 1, 2, chain 1 and 2 more double crochets into the same space. 1 and 2. And again chain 1, 2 double crochets into the next space. 1, 2, chain 1 and 2 more double crochets into the same space. 1 and 2. So like this we are going to repeat the same pattern around and finish this round. So here I have finished this round and cut off the yarn. So for the next round I am going to join this white yarn into any one of these chain 1 space. So I am going to join this here, pull the white yarn, then chain 3. 1, 2, 3, which counts as a double crochet. Then work one more double crochet into the same space. So we have two double crochets here. Then chain 1 and into the next chain 1 space work 2 double crochets. 1 and 2. Then chain 1 work 2 double crochets into the next space. 1 and 2. Then chain 1 work 2 double crochets in the next space. 1 and 2. Chain 1, work 2 double crochets in the next space. 1 and 2. Chain 1, work 2 double crochets in the next space. 1, 2. So like this we are going to repeat and finish this round in here. So here you can see I have finished this round. We'll start off with the next round. For that slip stitch into the next stitch here. And slip stitch into the chain 1 space. So we'll start the next round from here. Chain 3. Then work 2 double crochets into the same space. 1, 2. So we have 3 double crochets. Then chain 1. And work 3 double crochets in the next space. 1, 2, 3. Then chain 1, work 3 double crochets in the next space. 1, 2 and 3. Then chain 1, 3 double crochets in the next space. 1, 2, 3. So like this we will repeat chain 1, 3 double crochets in the next space. 1, 2, 3. So like this we are going to repeat and finish the round in here. So here I have finished this round. 
so next round is similar to the last round so I'm going to make slip stitch to the next two stitches one two slip stitch into the chain one space and we are going to repeat the last round chain three two double crochets into the same space one two so we have three double crochets then chain one work three double crochets into the next space one two and three then again chain one three double crochets into the next space one two three then chain one three double crochets in the next space one two and three so like this we are going to continue the same pattern and finish this round in here so here i have finished this round so then we are going to slip stitch into the next two stitch and into the chain one space and we are going to repeat the last round so the same pattern we are going to repeat and do one more round so here you have finished one more round of the same pattern and cut off the yarn so for the next round i'm going to join this lavender color again into any one of the chain one space so join the lavender color then i'm going to chain three which counts as a double crochet then work another double crochet into the same space then we are going to chain one and work two more double crochets into the same space one and two so we have two double crochets chain one two double crochets then chain one and into the next space work two double crochets one two chain one and two more double crochets into the same space one and two so like this we will repeat chain one two double crochets in the next space one two chain one and work two more double crochets into the same space one and two chain one two double crochets in the next space one two chain one and work two more double crochets into the same space one and two so like this we are going to repeat this pattern around and finish this round in here so here you can see I have finished this round so for the next round we are going to slip stitch into the next stitch so slip stitch into the next stitch and slip stitch in the chain one space and start the next round from here chain 3 which counts as a double crochet then double crochet into the same space then chain one and work two double crochets into the next chain one space one one and two then again chain one work two double crochets in the next space one and two chain one then two double crochets in the next space one and two chain one two double crochets in the next space one and two chain one two double crochets in the next space two chain one two double crochets in the next space one and two so like this we are going to repeat this same pattern around and finish this round 
so here I have finished this round so for the next round slip stitch into the next stitch and slip stitch into the chain one space we are going to chain three work one double crochet into the same space then chain one and work two double crochets into the next space so this round is similar to our last round chain one two double crochets into the next space one and two chain one two double crochets into the next space so like this we are going to repeat the same pattern and finish this round so here i have finished this round so for the next round slip stitch into the next stitch and slip stitch into the chain one space so slip stitch in the stitch and slip stitch in the chain one space so here we are going to chain three which counts as a double crochet and then chain three again and work another double crochet into the same space so this counts as double crochet chain three and double crochet so that's what we are going to repeat into the next space work one double crochet chain three one two three and double crochet into the same space and again double crochet into the next space chain three and double crochet into the same space then again double crochet into the next space chain three and double crochet into the same space double crochet into the next space chain three and double crochet into the same space so like this we are going to repeat the same pattern and finish this round in here so here i'm near the end of this round i'm going to make a slip stitch on top of the first chain three one two here into the third chain i'm going to make a slip stitch so we have finished this round i'm going to chain one and cut off the yarn and for the next round we'll use the white color so next round i'm going to join this white yarn into any one of these chain three space so join the white yarn then we will chain three which counts as a double crochet then work six more double crochets into the same space one two three four five Six. so we have seven double crochets here including the first chain three then we are going to make a single crochet into the next chain three space like this then we will repeat the same seven double crochets into the next space one two three four five six seven then single crochet in the next chain three space in seven double crochets in the next chain three space one two three four five six seven and single crochet into the next space again seven double crochets into the next chain three space one two three four five six seven and single crochet into the next space 
so like this we are going to repeat the same pattern and finish this round in here so here I'm near the end of this round I have made single crochet now I'm going to make a slip stitch on top of the first chain three one two three here make a slip stitch and we will finish this round then I'm going to chain one and cut off the yarn then we will start the next round with the other color so for the next round I'm going to join this purple lavender yarn again so I'm going to join this here in this single crochet of the previous round so join the yarn here and we are going to chain 5 1 2 3 4 5 6 so chain 6 and work another double crochet into the same stitch so this counts as double crochet chain 3 and double crochet then we are going to chain 5 and we'll go into the next single crochet here and work the same double crochet chain 3 and double crochet into the same stitch then chain 5 1 2 3 4 5 then we will go on top of the next single crochet and work the same double crochet chain 3 1 2 3 and double crochet into the same stitch then again chain 5 3 4 5 double crochet on top of this single crochet of previous round then chain 3 1 2 3 and double crochet into the same stitch so like this we are going to repeat this same pattern and here we will finish the round so here I am near the end of this round I have made chain 5 and I am going to make a slip stitch on top of the first chain 3 so here 1 2 3 here I am going to make a slip stitch and finish this round that's the end of this round for the next round slip stitch into this space here work chain 3 which counts as a double crochet we will work six more double crochets into the same chain 3 space 1 2 3 4 5 and 6 so we have 7 double crochets here including the first chain 3 then we are go going to work in this white round so we have 7 double crochets here we are going to the fourth stitch so here in the fourth stitch we are going to make a single crochet like this then into the next chain 3 space we will work 7 double crochets 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 then single crochet into the fourth stitch 1 2 3 4 so into the fourth stitch make a single crochet then again 7 double crochets in the chain 3 space 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 then single crochet in the fourth stitch 1 2 3 4 so here make a single crochet then 7 double crochets in the chain 3 space 1 1 2 3 
फोर फाइव सिक्स सेवन देन सिंगल क्रोशे इन द फोर्थ स्टिच वन टू थ्री फोर हिय मेक अ सिंगल क्रोशे सो लाइक दिस वी आर गोइंग टू रिपीट दिस सेम पैटर्न एंड फिनिश दिस राउंड इन हिय so here i'm near the end of this round i have made single crochet now i'm going to make a slip stitch on top of the first chain 3 here so in this third chain we are going to make a slip stitch and finish this round chain 1 i'm going to cut off the yarn then we will join the other color for the last round so we have finished this round so for the last round i am going to use the white yarn again so i am going to join this in this single crochet of previous round so join the white yarn like this then i am going to chain 1 and work one slip stitch into every stitch of the previous round so slip stitch like this work one slip stitch into every stitch of the previous round so slip stitch into every stitch of the previous round and finish this full round so here i am near the end of this round i have one last stitch left i am going to make a slip stitch and then i am going to go into the first stitch where we join the white yarn and make a slip stitch and i am going to cut off the yarn and pull the yarn through like this and i'm going to take this yarn to the back so i have threaded the yarn i will pass it through the same stitch here and pull it to the back so pull it to the back and we are going to secure this on the other side so here i'm going to tie this with the starting yarn tail and we will secure this yarn we will hide all the yarn tails so i'm going to hide all these yarn tails and finish this off So a beautiful doily pattern is now ready. I hope you guys like my video tutorial. So hit the like button, leave a comment below, share with your friends, subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon so you'll get all the notification for my new videos. Thank you guys. Bye bye.